Konnichiwa YouTubers, it's Restock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Saint Seiya Poseidon Scale. I think, I'm beginning to think these are bronze knights or whatever they are. I'm sorry, I don't know Saint Seiya. Don't crucify me, alright? There's go to old Poseidon Scale. I just like the figures, they're kind of neat for back in the day. I mean, they're like 24, 25 years old, top of it. There's good old Poseidon. Alright, not much to the box. This one isn't as cool as. What was that guy's name? Siren. But yeah, nice little Greek looking thing. The dude with a hat and his cat. Uh, let me see, when was this thing made? Uh, the proof of purchase is gone. Oh wow. Uh, bottom of the box, it's unfortunately torn. Made back in 1988. Made in Japan still. This one did come with instructions, so I have an idea how to freaking put this thing together. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. There we go. There's Poseidon and this dude right here. Articulation for the Saint Sail line is pretty much standard. So let's see. As I like, I like the, I like the dude here. All right, what I don't like is this uh, paint splotches. I guess I can try to remove it with some. What do you call that? Try to remove it with some alcohol. Uh, green eyes, green eyebrows. So good attention to detail. Still GI Joe-ish if you. Remember that blue mullet articulation still the same. Oh, or shoulder swivels out. It doesn't swivel; it just goes around. It moves out. Single jointed elbow, bicep swivel. I love that the individually molded fingers do swivel out. No index finger. Okay, have a waist swivel. The hip moves out, and yep, moves up. Double jointed knee cool and you got that boot swivel ankle swivel we want to call it so not bad not bad it is on a swivel joint and it does rotate so not bad for articulation that's par for the course got those big die cast feet so he can stand up and believe me oh yeah I forget got that stamp too sorry see if you can read it made in Japan yeah I'm gonna set it down we're done with him this is the dude Poseidon, love the Trident. The Trident's badass. Pardon my French. Looking good. Let's go ahead. I, I, I put the cod piece upside down because I had a devil of a time putting him uh, upright. So I'm gonna fix that when I try to do that. Well, or fix it with the dude. Uh, there's a lot of extra pieces here. The little Sphinx-looking things, or whatever. Sumerian. Uh, I forget what it was. Yeah, they they come in two pieces and they have to be attached. I don't know if you can tell. These pieces come off, and the, the foot pieces come off. So there it goes. It doesn't move too much. You got the arm move up, and these pieces are flimsy, so I'm going to take that off. The head, not stationary. So the arms are about the only thing that move. I like it. Yeah, it's a bronze sate, or whatever it is. Sorry, again, don't crucify me. Let's go take all these pieces off. That's my favorite part because, man, it takes me forever to do all this. And, yeah, I love the gold. I love the bronze. And again, if he's a bronze sate, good on me. If I didn't, I guess I, I'm guessing that. And as you can see, this thing just fell off. And I don't know if, yeah, the Sphinx just broke. So just to tell you, there's a the little Sphinx. It just pops in and just snaps together. And then we just, it's not a Sphinx. It's one of them Sumerian gods. I forget what it is. I don't know too much about Sumerian legend. I'm gonna take that, take that, take that. Cod piece, I'll put it right upright. Thigh pieces. Skirt piece, chest piece, skirt piece, or sorry, skirt piece, waist piece, not bad. Alright. You know. Ugh. Excuse me. Now let's get this. It doesn't matter which piece you want to put for the chest pieces. I pretty much think they're identical. But it's imperative that you put this on before you put yeah, and it clips in. You put on his helmet. With that being said, let's put the dude's helmet on. It just slips right on. Yeah. It'll it'll focus. There we go. Come on, focus. There we go. So there we go. Not too bad. Same thing with these chest arm pieces. Pop those in first. There we go. 
all right looking good then these things just connect on the top there the little tabs yeah beautiful all right looking good all right <laughs> yeah there we go yeah okay dude can stand up now and like anything else he will be top heavy ah there we go try to straighten up those legs there we go all right what else we got big fan of the gauntlets so i always pop those in looks like samurai armor where's the other gauntlet there we go make sure that the fist yeah i like it what else we got greaves these five pieces really nice you know what let me put the thigh pieces because I'm kind of anticipating that I won't be able to get yeah I won't be able to get the uh, the cod piece on so make sure that we go through the waist here these tabs right here have to face forward there we go all right here we go moment of truth See if I can put the dang cod piece on correctly this time. This has to slip from the top there. There we go. Cod piece on right. Now we can put it on the thigh pieces. Yeah, and you can see that's that's die cast. Real die cast there. There we go, that's the other greave. Got the thigh pieces on, greaves on. And I believe these just pop into the shoes. And there was another piece. Yeah, you get the drift. Now we can just go ahead, put his trident. Yeah, looking good. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, he's squat, but what can I say? Let's go give him a size comparison. Just move that back. There he is with Megatron and G.I. Joe. Yeah, I finally, finally found the other foot piece. So yeah, if you want to hold him, have him holding his Triton, yeah. Looking good. I, I love the gold. Or sorry, I love the uh, bronze. I love the gold. There's GI Joe. So for a size comparison, there you go. Looking good again. I, I'll have to cheat again. I like the dude, but eight out of ten. What can I say? That's all I got, YouTubers, and I catch y'all next time.